today is officially my birthday. It is 1.53 a.m. Um, why am I still up? That's a long story. No, it's not a long story. I, okay, how did I bring in my birthday? On my laptop, finishing up my website. <laughs> why? Because I was very determined to finish it. Like, it's been too long. And I really wanted to have a sale celebrating my birthday um, and just show appreciation for all of the support that everyone who subscribed to Gem Holistic has been giving me. I don't know if I'm going to make the, the sale public yet, but as of right now, only the people who are subscribed to my newsletter have that coupon code. And it's a very generous, a very generous, um, discount it's actually the biggest i've ever had i gotta be up early in the morning to go for my 8 a.m massage but i just said let me come on here and start a vlog because i plan to do a day in my life tomorrow and although i'm not doing anything like specific for my birthday right now because my birthday gift to myself is a trip that I'll be taking in July and I guess I'll share more about that in a later video but I'm gonna have a pretty chill birthday as it pertains to celebrating it on the day of my birthday <laughs> if that makes sense so um, I plan to do a day in my life and my day is starting now even though I'm about to go to bed <laughs> I do have a slight headache but I'm in good spirits and I feel good other than this headache I feel good and I know the headache is from one taking too long to eat and two being in that in front of the laptop for hours today so I gonna balance all of that out tomorrow by going to get my massage and then going to the beach and just doing some other things that doesn't involve me sitting at my computer all day so I'm excited. I am officially 31 years young and um, I feel good. I feel good. I Last week was rough, you know, like I was going through it last week, but I feel good now. And I am learning to just bask in the days that I feel good and take it one day at a time and don't anticipate how I will feel tomorrow or the next day so I guess essentially I'm just learning how to be present more and um, I love that for myself so cheers to chapter 31 happy rising to me Oh my goodness, I'm so tired still. But I have to get up and um, get ready for my appointment. So I don't want to be late. So I am ready to go. Turn off the fan, it is so loud. I'm ready to go. Um, I'm about to head out. Let me show y'all quick. It's a cute little... back is a little back out you know I like a cute back out so the color is mustard yellow this year we're channeling divine river goddess Oshun so um we ready let's go let's go get this massage I am I am going to be snoring on this woman massage table right now because I am exhausted but I'm looking forward to my little 80 minutes massage because I need it. Anyways, I'm about to head in the car and get going. It is 7.17, my massage is for eight, and the location is in Christiansted Town, which means it'll take me at least 10 minutes to find parking. So let me go now before I end up being late. <sighs> okay, so I'm on my way. Let me put on my seatbelt because my best friend be on my case 
girl why you got y'all on your seatbelt um don't mind all the junk in the back okay like all the boxes that i pick up from the post office yesterday is still in the car because i got home yesterday and i was like i gotta take out all of this myself it's like no not today <laughs> so i gotta unpack that later it's my birthday but it's also a regular day for me because i have stuff to do i need to grocery shop <laughs> Cause I ain't got no groceries home. My 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 boys have been at um, my sister's, so I didn't go grocery shopping this weekend like I usually do. Cause I didn't have to cook. I also have some other things that I need to do to get them ready for a summer camp. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Ooh, y'all see that sun? Looking good. So I'm a little late, but I found a spot. I'm going to Ocean View. No, not Ocean View. Ocean State of Mind, Massage and Wellness. I don't know where Ocean View from. I am definitely a little late. It's I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you finally. So I just finished my massage, right? And when I say that may no one of the best. That is one of the best massages that I've had ever. <laughs> y'all see the y'all see my face? Look at the line from um oh gosh, that's crazy. From the headrest thing. I almost thought that I was snoring. I was like, ah, so, excuse me if I was snoring. She was like, no, you was just snoring. Um, it was amazing. Every time I got a massage, like, I could feel like a little congestion right here. But I think it's because of the um, circulation. And then once I get up and start moving around, it kind of subsides. So excuse if I sound sick, I'm not sick. Um, and that's one of the benefits of massages. It improves your circulation and blood flow, which is great. So, yeah, I'm still in town. I think I'm going to go and try and find somewhere to eat because all I had this morning was a mango and some tea, and I'm hungry. So, yeah, my massage was amazing. That was it. That's all I needed today. Like, I don't even need nothing else other than the beach, of course. So, we're going to go to the beach later. But for now, I'm going to get something to eat. And I saw one of my friends just a little while ago. So, I'm going to the store and tell her hi quick. I just reached to where I'm going to get something to eat. I am so hungry. It's 11.39. I was sitting in the car for a while. But I just got here to the bistro. I was actually trying to call so I could just place my order and then come and pick it up. But like almost every business on this island, nobody was answering and then the phone line was busy and whatever. So I am going to go in and place an order. Hopefully it don't take too long because I am so hungry. <sighs> I'm probably just going to get like an avocado sandwich because it's literally just avocado. So I got two avocado sandwiches because I knew like one wouldn't do me justice because they're small-ish. And the girl would ask me why I want for my size. So she was going so fast. She said fries, hash browns, something, something, something. I don't want hash browns, so I just said fries. But I don't. Look at all the fries they gave me. Because I bought two sandwiches. They gave me two sides of fries. But look how big one portion is. Who gonna eat all of that? I'm not even eating it. I took a few and like... I just know that if I continue eating it... I gonna feel... Oof. I gonna feel sick later. From all the grease and the oils. And then... They didn't have much options of things to drink and they only had the sunny water and I refused to buy the sunny water but I should have just not buy anything. I said let me try their um, lemonade iced tea. This, this one is um, passion guava. It tastes like sugar, just sugar. That's all it is. Like I can't taste the passion. 
I could taste a little bit of the guava, but it's just sugar. This is why I don't eat out. This is why I don't eat out. People to call me weird and stuff, but like, every time I eat out, I'd just be like, oh gosh, I gotta go home and drink some tea and clean myself out. This is an avocado sandwich. It's literally just bread, avocado, and spinach. And I don't really fuck with spinach because it's high in oxalate, but it's way better than whatever else they have on their menu. They have a sandwich on their menu that's called Veganator, right? <clears throat> with mushrooms, mushrooms, something, something, provolone, and then it says veggie cream cheese. So I said I could get them... Um, that sandwich without the provolone they say yeah i said okay is the veggie cream cheese actually vegan she went back in the back to ask they said no it's dairy i said so why the fuck does it say veggie make it make sense the the title of the sandwich is veganator it is like completely missed do they not know what the word vegan and this is why I don't even like to tell people I'm a vegan because nobody really know what that is. I just like to say I'm plant-based. I'm plant-based. I'm an Italist. That's it. Because how you gonna call a sandwich veganator and it has dairy in it? Anyways, I'm about to eat this and then go into undercover books and then start making my way back down west because I want to go to the beach. So I'm in, I'm whispering because there's people in here, but I'm in undercover books right now. And I'm just like, why you never come in the store? It's so cute. I think this is the children's book section. It's so cute in here. It's so, so cute in here. So I'm going to be in here for a little bit, browsing around, see if I see anything I want. And then I'm going to hit the road. So I found a section that I'm interested in <clears throat> and I was hoping they had the four agreements because I've been wanting to read that book but they have this the fifth agreement but apparently it's a sequel it's a sequel to the four agreements so I don't want to get it until after I read the four agreements so I asked them if they have it they said if they She'll check. So we'll see. Then I saw this by the same author. And I read the back and I think it's something I'll be interested in. So I might get that. I'm seeing what other book here I would be interested in. Watch Tablets of Brown and things. So, I'm going to just browse around for a bit and then um, see if they see if the lady find the four agreement. If not, I may just get this and I'm going to order the four agreements online. And here is just really cute. There's a cute store. They sell a little bit of everything in here. Or you can put the and you could, that's why I like to put too. <laughs> Nobody could ever complain to me about the price of my soaps. Okay, so, um, I just came out of. I just came out of undercover book. Bought myself some birthday gifts. I bought two books. I didn't actually go in there with intentions to buy anything, to be honest. Like I just wanted to look because um, a lot of people that like I have things in common with are always telling me about undercover books. And because I don't be on this side of town often, I never really I've never went in there like when I do come to Gallows Bay, I go there and I leave. And um, although I knew Undercover Books was always here, I never really just took the time to go in, you know? So I did that today. So I bought this, The Fifth Agreement. And I also bought 
this book, The Mystery of Love, both by the same author, Don Miguel Ruiz. So I am excited to read those. And then I also bought these two um, perfumes because they don't contain all of like the harsh chemicals that uh, most perfumes have and they smell so good I was not going to buy it I was just smelling it just to see because I'm not really a big perfume person and um yeah I'm just not a big perfume person and because I use my own products usually that's enough for me so yeah that's what I bought in here today and those two books are going to be the books that I'm, I'll be reading for the probably the next two months. I don't get to read as often, but one of my goals this year, this new chapter, is to read one book a month. So, I'm probably not going to start this month because there's a lot going on, but especially for the month of July when I'm taking my long international trip. I'm not saying where yet, but when I take my long inter international trip, I have some books to read while I'm on the plane, while I'm in the airport, etc. But yes, I'm excited. Anyways, let me go and buy some groceries and then head back towards the west side. So I have a little dilemma. I just coming out of <laughs> rolling this cart down the ramp like that but yeah I have a little dilemma because remember this morning I was saying I didn't take them boxes out the car grocery shopping and my thing is like where am I putting everything <laughs> where am I gonna put everything Oh gosh, and I gotta figure it out quick because it's already 2.36 and I gotta go pick up my Mora to take her to her acupuncture appointment for 3 o'clock. And all of the bags, because I have um, grocery bags, but they're somewhere back there. Jeez. Okay, I gotta figure this out. I'm finished with running my errands. Um, well, pretty much finished. I just have to go to the post office real quick, which is where I'm heading now. But I told myself that I'm taking myself to dinner tonight and my goodness, I am so tired. that I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. But after I go to the post office, I'm going home to change and I'm going to the beach before the sunset. Regardless, I've been having a pretty chill day. I went grocery shopping. I went to Qualities. I went to Plaza. I went to Hell Conscious. And then I went to FedEx. <laughs> I've just been running errands, y'all. I've been running errands on my birthday. But it's okay. So, I just leave in the post office, right? This is ridiculous. This is, let me show y'all what's really going on in my car right now. Well, it's not my car, it's my mother's car. So I got groceries in here. Boxes galore. These are groceries. There's boxes underneath these boxes. More boxes. More boxes. Karen and my mother call me, but this car is full, full of, um, damn, I missed the light. It's full of boxes. Who gonna take out all these boxes? I'm not doing it. I try and get to the beach. When I get home, I'm just taking out the groceries. I leave in all them boxes in the car, and when I get back from the beach, hopefully my father home by then, and I'm gonna ask you to help me take them out. So I am on my way to the beach, finally. It's 5.26 to be exact. Um, I just gotta go to the ocean, like, that's my happy place. How could I not go to the beach on my birthday? So although I know I'm not gonna be able to stay long, I'm still gonna go. And um, 
I decided I'm that, that I'm gonna go to dinner okay because I was thinking about it and I'm just like if a man was like oh I'm taking you to dinner for your birthday would you tell him oh you're too tired and you're not gonna go no I wouldn't so I'm gonna show up for myself I've been saying that I want to take myself out to dinner so I'm gonna do it um, I actually said this last year for my birthday and I didn't do it then I say it again this year for my birthday and what's my excuse I'm tired I'm gonna always be tired <laughs> I'm tired every day so there's all gonna be the excuse of being tired so I'm gonna go I'm gonna enjoy myself then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna go to sleep but I in order for me to not bail on, my, bail on myself I call them me red reservations so I have reservations for 8 30 um, in this very short time because I reach home like five uh, in this very short time I took the groceries out the car use the bathroom change be like did some stuff <laughs> so I should be at the beach in like five minutes is not far from where I live so um, on the bright side I'll be able to catch the sunset so that's nice I made it to the beach. The sun. Oh, we're driving around looking for an area where nobody is at. Um, I usually don't come this far down. And it still has people like down there but it's okay we don't make it work here I actually think this is where I came last year if I'm not mistaken and the water is very calm so I could still kind of go in the water from here even though it's a little rocky so um yeah there's some guys down there fishing but they ain't studying I'm gonna do what I want anyways as y'all can see the theme this year is mustard yellow I think that's the correct name for this color and I'm loving it okay okay so I'm still at the beach I was taking some pictures while recording myself so I could do some screenshots because ain't nobody got time to be running back and forth to the camera but um the Sun is now setting this is my little bathing suit So I was looking in the water here and I actually don't want to go in the water over here. So since I don't take all my little videos and pictures, I'm going to head back down that way and go in the water quick before it get dark and then head home to get ready for dinner. <laughs> but I had a little vibe here. So yeah, I'm going to go a little bit down so that I could get in the water quick before it really gets dark. <laughs> I don't want, and then I don't want to be back. I don't want to be this far down on the beach by myself when the sun set anyways and there are people there are people not even people there are some men on the beach swimming and I like to be aware of my surroundings when I'm out by myself so I'm not gonna play stupid and stay down here after it get dark Okay, I made it to the other part of the beach. Um, I'm looking for my damn hair tie so I could tie up my hair. Here it is. So, let me show y'all. No, I drop in the thing. See what happened when you're rushing? So, you see right there? That is more the spot that I would go in the water. It was earlier. Literally, all people that do over there is fish, it look like. Because Inga like there's no pathway really to get in the water and i wasn't about to be climbing over all them rocks and all of that and i go better by myself no so i'm gonna go take my dip quick because the sun is literally about to set okay so i am home from the beach 
and I am about to um, hop in the shower but I'm trying to figure out what I'm wearing <laughs> I didn't buy anything for my birthday you know people buy like outfits depending on what they're gonna do they'll buy an outfit for their birthday last year I bought bathing suits for my birthday because I knew I was gonna spend a day on the beach this year I didn't buy anything although I've never worn this bathing suit before I've had it for a year um, so I have some stuff in my closet that I haven't worn so I'm gonna go through there and um, see what I'm gonna put on and then hop in the shower okay so it's 8:20. what am I standing here for there's no lights I trying to figure out did power just go what happened or the stoplights just stop working <sighs> only on St. Croix it is 8 21 my reservations is for 8 30 and i'm definitely not going to reach there in nine minutes but it's okay at least i am going um i was actually on time you know i finished dress i was ready like 100 percent ready at eight o'clock okay by 8 05 i was going out the door my parents were came home and i was like i asked my father i was like so you want to take all these box out the car <laughs> Because it was a lot. It's a lot of boxes. So I was leaving the house, right? Quick story. Not a story, but whatever. Um, I was leaving the house. So my mother was like, so you heading to dinner now? I was like, yeah. She was like, who are you going with? I was like, nobody but myself. She was like, why you didn't ask? And she named a couple of my friends who's on island to go with you. And I said, because I didn't want to. I wanted to go by myself. And she was like, that's weird. <laughs> I said, how is that weird? She was like, that's such a lonely thing to do. You're going to dinner to sit down by yourself? I was like, yes, I wanted to take myself out. She doesn't understand the concept, but it's okay. Um, anyways, I, I had done leave the house, done drive off, reached to the top of the road, and she called me and tell me to come back down the road come back to the house i said what happened she was like just come i was like ma what happened she's like just come so i turned around and drove back down the road and she gave me this envelope and she was like since you're going to dinner by yourself your birthday gift from me and your father is dinner is on us i was like thank you <laughs> i just said thank you you know like honestly this year i didn't ask anybody like specifically for anything last year i put in our family group chat a list of the things that i wanted for my birthday and everybody kind of got me something except for my mother and one of my sisters they never actually got me a birthday gift last year but that's beside the point and um where was i going with the story yeah i usually like ask and tell people what i want and this year i was just like i ain't asking for nothing I ain't telling nobody nothing. Whoever gives me something, I am going to be appreciative and grateful for it. But, like, I was good. And it wasn't, like, I just didn't feel the need to. However, my youngest sister, the one y'all have seen her in some of my previous videos, the one that'll cook, she, she would not let a birthday go by and she don't give you something. She, I could say, like, what I ask or not, she gonna give me something for my birthday. She goes all out for people's birthday. I do love and appreciate her for that. She um, is very important to her to make people feel special on their birthday. And that's one of the qualities that I really love about her. And this year, we need to all, not we, but like me and my sister, and we need to return that same energy. Um, Cause I always give her whatever she asks me for. Uh, which is usually products <laughs> she always wants products for her to give but I think I'm gonna go beyond and above and beyond that um, this year for her because she does she does the most for everybody when it comes to their birthday and um, she should feel special on her day too <clears throat> I'm not saying she don't but I'm just saying like just going the extra mile you know anyways I am definitely rambling okay so I'm in town now um, it's pretty dead down here, which is expected because it's a Tuesday night. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but tonight is really hot. But anyways, I it was easy for me to find a parking. That's just to show you how dead down here it is. 
and I probably could have even parked closer than what I did because I see some parking right up there but I would have to parallel park and you know I don't avoid doing that so I'm good where I parked but um I'm walking to the restaurant now right in this cute little spot over here I am late what time is it it's 8 44 <laughs> and my um, reservations were at 8 30 so that's the restaurant right there that I'm going to Let's see right in there where's the entrance I don't even know where the entrance is. I guess it's over here so right in there this is where I'm going this is the menu So cute, look at it. So, I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet. I'll figure it out. The waitress is asking the chef something about what's vegan and what's not. So, I'll see. So, I'm finished with dinner. I'm back in the car. I was sitting in the car for a minute because I was going through my videos and pictures in my phone. Um, but I'm leaving town now and I'm heading by my sister's house to get my gift. Whew, I'm tired. <laughs> um, it's 10.20, so... I'm not used to being out in the streets this late, okay? It happens very rare, rarely, rare, whatever. <laughs> so, I don't be struggling sometimes. So I'm going to um, put on some music to help keep me up. Thankfully, my sister lives like five, 10 minutes away from town and I'm heading in the direction to go home anyways. So it's fine. But um, dinner was okay. Um, the food wasn't the best. And this is why I usually don't care to go out to eat. I don't care to buy food. Period. Because of how I eat. And people who think they know how to cook vegan food can't. <laughs> Unless I'm going to an actual vegan restaurant. Or vegan spot. Which I didn't. So... Anyways, uh, I don't have much to say about the food, but I enjoyed um, just being out by myself. I was, I took out my journal and I was writing and I had my book with me. Um, I scrolled through some of my pictures. Like I was just chilling, you know, it was a good vibe. I liked that restaurant because it wasn't like loud and it could be because it didn't have a lot of people. Oof, jeez. It could be because they didn't have a lot of people in there but it was just chill it was a very chill vibe i like the ambiance and the aesthetics of the restaurant too so it was cool i enjoyed myself so i'm here by my sister now and she just gave me my gift Yeah, they're Indian brass. I love it. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, I love this. Thank you. Oh, nice. This is cute. This is like one you have get Ima. Mm-hmm. Incense. I need incense. It's called sunflower. Call what? Sunflower. Mmm. It's a floral scent. I love floral scent. Me too. Oh, this smells good. Right? Ooh, yes. Yeah, I had to give me one too. <laughs> that smells so good. I'm gonna go home and bun one tonight and I'll. <laughs> 
Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's it. I don't know if this thing is crooked or not, but I just reached home. Well, I reached home about 20 minutes ago because I was sitting in the car for a bit. Um, I'm tired, so I'm going to declothe myself, brush my teeth, wash up, and go to bed. Oof. I had a, an amazing day. Like, Although in the footage, you're not going to see that I did much physically I just there was just this feeling inside of me that just felt so good that like I just felt blissful the whole day like I had a great day I'm also excited for my upcoming birthday gift to myself I'll share more details on that at a later date but today was a good day I felt good I looked good <laughs> and i'm grateful i'm gonna end the vlog here i am going to um get myself ready for bed first i'm gonna light one of these incense that my sister just gave me i light the incense just about every night um i can't say every night because there are some nights that i'll fall asleep and forget but Majority of the nights at a lighter incense. So I had to go through incense fast. This smells so good. I I don't have to go back and get some because it's not gonna last. It smells so good. Anyways, thank y'all for coming along with me on my 31st solo return yeah i am so excited for this year like i could just i don't know how to explain the feeling that i have but i just have a feeling that like so much good is going to happen this year for me especially with like the newfound growth and clarity that i attained in year 30 i feel like i went through like a a, a purge the last three weeks before today and God is just like you're getting it you're doing it like keep going I'm about to bless you <laughs> you know like it's just that feeling inside so I'm proud of myself for finding the courage and strength to like let things go that no longer serve me that includes Things, people, places, situations, energies, all of it. I'm grateful that I found the strength and the courage to start detaching myself from things that no longer serve me and um, find acceptance. I've been struggling with acceptance and I feel, I feel like I'm getting it more and more every day just accepting my current reality without without thinking that me accepting it means that I can't improve it still you know so yeah I'm grateful I am filled with gratitude right now that's what that is anyways to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everyone watching protect your peace by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video peace sit on the throne queen know you got that goddess energy it's in your soul queen manifesting your reality